es el 9 de mayo de 24, reconciliado con Dios, Romanos capítulos 5, versículos 1 a 11. Amen. Linggong Escuela, Mayo 19, 2024, nakipagkasundo sa Diyos, Roma 5, sa hanggang 11. Amen. Amen. Trường Chủ Nhật, ngày 19 tháng 5 năm 2024, được hòa giải với Chúa Roma 5, 1, 11. The fifth chapter, the first verse. Therefore, having been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. English Standard Version, Romans 5 and 1. Therefore, since we have been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Key verse, Romans 5 1. Therefore, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Romans 5, 1. Therefore, since we are justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Romans chapter 5, verse 1. Therefore, since we have been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Reina Valera, 1960. El resultado de la justificación, su, su, su cinco justificados, pues por la fe tenemos paz para con Dios por medio de nuestro Señor Jesucristo. Amén. Amén. Mga bunga ng pagtanggap ng Diyos. Una, sapagkat napawalang sala na tayo sa pamamagitan ng ating pananampalataya. Meron na tayong mapayapang ugnayan sa Diyos at pamamagitan ng ating Panginoong Kiso Kristo. Amen. Amen. Những câu chính, key verse, Roma 5, 1. Kết quả của sự xưng công chính. Vì vậy, đã được xưng công chính bởi Đức Tin, chúng ta được bình an với Đức Chúa Trời qua Chúa Cứu Thế giê -xu, Chúa chúng ta. Amen. Amen. मुख्यपद रोमियो परमेश्वर का प्रेम क्योंकि हम अपने विश्वास के कारण परमेश्वर के लिए धर्मी हो गए हैं सो अपने प्रभु यीशु मसीह के द्वारा हमारा परमेश्वर से मेल हो गया है आमीन संति सुख และความ Amen. Romans 5, 2 through 4. By whom also we have access by faith into this grace wherein we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. And not only so, but we glory in tribulation also, knowing that tribulation worketh patience, and patience experience and experience hope. Good morning, all the way from Progreso, Mexico. Yeah. Romans 5, chapter 5. And hope maketh not ashamed, because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is given to us. Romans 5, chapter 5, verse 6. For when we were yet without strength, in due time Christ died for the ungodly. Amen. Amen. Verse 7. For scarcely for a righteous man will one die, yet for adventure for a good man some will even dare to die. Verse 8. But God commendeth his love toward us, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Amen. Amen. Um, in the chapter 90, 10 verse. Much more than being now justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. For if when we were enemies, we 
were reconciled to God by the death of his son. Much more, being reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. Amen. Amen. All right, Romans 5, 11 and 12. And not only so, but we also joy in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom we have now received the atonement. For 12. For there is no difference between the law, the Jew and the Greek. For the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. Amen. Amen. Because Christ paid the sins Christ for us. Amen. 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 Thank you. Greetings, everyone. Welcome to another Sunday School lesson. This lesson is a continuation in examining our faith under that unit. So for the 5th of May, we, we went to justify by faith. For Mother's Day, our lesson was counted as righteous. Today's lesson is reconciled to God, also coming from Romans. Uh, the previous two lessons was from 3 and 4. This lesson is from Lesson 5, verses 1 through 11. So without further ado, we'll have our opening prayer. Let us pray. Father, cleanse our hearts and minds to willingly receive your words. Then hide your saving words in our hearts that we sin not against you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Padre, limpia nuestros corazones y mentes para recibir voluntariamente tus palabras. Entonces, escóndeme tus palabras salvadoras en nuestros corazones para que no pequemos contra ti. En el nombre de Jesús. Oremos. Amén. 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 Xin thay tẩy tấm lòng và tâm trí chúng con để sẵn lòng đón nhận lời Ngài. Xin hãy giấu lời cứu độ của Ngài vào lòng chúng con để chúng con không phạm tội chống lại Ngài. Nhưng danh Chúa Giêsu chúng con cầu nguyện. Amen. 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 ให้เราอธิษฐานพระบิดาขอทรงชำระจิตใจและจิตใจของเราให้เต็มใจรับเพราะวจนะของพระองค์จากนั้นซ่อนพระวจนะแห่งความรอดของคุณไว้ในใจ
translations because everybody's involved with the word of God because God is the God of all, not just the Jews, but the Jews and the Gentiles as well. So uh, moving on, uh, fellowship with the believers. Uh, they continue steadfastly with the apostles and the doctrine. And when you all on one accord, oh, things can happen. So sure enough, uh, praising God and having favor with the, the people, the Lord added to the church daily as such as should be saved. So people being saved, uh, miracles were happening, all because they were on one accord from the Pentecost. Okay, our lesson today from Romans chapter 5, uh, verses 1 through 11. Okay, so I have a little comment here. 1 Corinthians, uh, for you are bought with a price, therefore glorify God in your body and your spirit, which are God's. So God owned these bodies and what? He's expecting us to glorify him with his body, with our bodies. So uh, like, uh, what? We present ourselves as a living sacrifice unto God, holy and acceptable. So uh, something that David said, uh, Psalm 30, uh, 86, 12. I will praise thee, O Lord, my God, with my whole heart, and I will glorify thy name forevermore. Hallelujah. So moving on uh, with the uh, lesson from Romans 5, the study Bible breaks that down into two uh, sections. The first section is peace with God through faith. That's the first 11 verses. The last half, which is 12 through 21, is the death in Adam, life in Christ. So remember, one man brought death because of his sins, but one man through his obedience, hey, we have the gift of eternal life. So it starts off with the key verse. The key verse is Romans chapter 5, verse 1. Key verse, King James Version. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. It's something about peace. Peace is like, okay, hey, everything is settled, everything is done. So now I could, I could, I could relax in this. I could, I could joy in this. You know, I, I'm not troubled. I'm not anxious for something like, oh, man, do I have to pay that bill next to, you know, when we have peace with something, oh, it's, it's, it's a joy. Uh, I, I, I got the New Revised Standard Version, an updated edition. The, it starts off with a title called Results of Justification. And then it says, therefore, since we are justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. So how do we have this fellowship? Because it was a broken fellowship because of sin, right? And because of Adam, what we born and shaping in iniquity. Hallelujah. But what? Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Oh, he done washed away our sins. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. But Jesus is the door. He is the way, the truth, and the life, as it says in John, the Gospel of John. And, and there's no other way. Can't go around him, can't go under him, can't it, hey. Jesus, help us, Lord. Hallelujah. And cover us with your blood. So we can be in your image. Hallelujah. In the Old Testament, we had animals and the blood sacrifice, but look, every year it had to be renewed. Every year. But with Jesus Christ, oh, he is the ultimate sacrifice, and he was perfect, perfect, perfect. We got heaven's best as a sacrifice, so hey, we don't have to do it every year, but we need to renew our vows. So we have a spiritual sacrifice now. Number two, verse two, by whom also we have access by faith into this grace wherein we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. So we're not just saying uttering words and that and we threw with it. No, no, no. We have access by faith. So we've come this far by faith, and what faith is the substance of things hoped for, is the evidence of things not seen. And hey, we, you know, everybody can't see. Well, oh, why are you so happy? Why are you so joyful? Look at this situation. Yeah, but when we know God is in charge, when Jesus has the control over the situation, we're gonna be all right. And we have peace. By what? By faith. And we have hope by faith. Uh, moving on, verse 3. And not only so, but we glory in tribulation also, knowing that tribulation work in patience. Now, that's where some of us going to have a problem right there. Wait a minute. Glory in tribulation? Well, hey, uh, Christ died for us. And that was the ultimate tribulation because death is the, the ultimate, you know, that, that's it. But what? Hey, through his death, what? We have life. So he gave up his riches that... And he became poor that we can become rich. He gave up his life so that we could have life everlasting. And that's what we want. We want that everlasting life with peace and grace. Hallelujah. By faith. Okay, moving on. Verse 4 says, in patience, experience, and experience hope. And 5 says, in hope that make it not a shame because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is given unto us. So we got tribulation. What? All right, well, tribulation, hey, some of, some of you guys, just I'm going to just be outright, oh, that sucks. Yeah, but guess what? Hey, like even when we're working, 
We might work and sweat and do all of that stuff, but hey, when, when it's finished, we get a paycheck and it's a reward. Um, hey, so we found out it was worth it. We found out it's worth it when we can take care of our children, we can take care of our families, our wives happy at home. Hey, when that money circulates, yeah, you may have a little tribulation. I'm just saying, I'm just using work as an example of, hey, it pays off. So, but when we do it, we do it, we work it with patience. Because, hey, as we're doing these different things, everything don't go but by the second. Some things go by the minute, some things go by the hour, some things by the day, by the week. So, depending upon what we're in. Them call notes, they come every month, but, hey, <laughs> we got to endure that for a little while. But once we finish, like, whoo, you know. <laughs> All right, so moving on, verse 6 says, And when we were yet without strength, in due time, Christ died for the ungodly. Wow, what a mess. So, I, I, I'm going to keep on going. For verse 7 says, For scarcely for a righteous man will some die, yet for adventure for a good man with some even would dare to die. So it's like, yeah, hey, who want to step in a place of death? And especially like, well, hey, look at so-and-so. Shoot, yeah, some of us, <laughs> they be plotting, you know, hate to even see you walking. So, uh, but look, Christ died for the ungodly. Hallelujah. And look, he died for the whosoever wills. Because guess what? One of them times, we was a whosoever will too. So don't, don't, that, that's the thing, like even with the tents. Well, with the tent ministry, uh, uh, with, with, the, with the Jews back then when they got saved, uh, rescued uh, from, from Egypt, and they, they had to have their tents. Well, then, hey, they had to set up tents because they didn't have houses. So when, when the, when the uh, established Jews had the holiday, one of the things that they did, they had, like, uh, they remembered the, the 10th day, and, and they, you know, you got to remember what your forefathers did to get you where you are. That's what we forget a lot. A lot of young people is like, well, hey, I got this here. Uh, Grandma uh, passed away. I got this here, and I get me a Lamborghini. Just remember, you know, when we blow money fast, hey, it took Grandma a long time to get that money or whatever it was. And, yeah, she want to bless you, and, yeah, she wants you to have a better life than she did. But just remember... It, just remember the pain and sweat it took to get that and, and, and honor our, our ancestors. Amen on that. Uh, just moving on. Uh, verse 8 says, But God commended his love toward us, that in while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. So while we were yet sinners, hallelujah, while we were yet sinners, uh, yeah, you know, all fall short. Romans uh, 3, 23, and we already went over that. All short, all short, uh, all sh fall short of the glory of God. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So, so thank you, Lord, for dying for us and, and giving us life through faith. So uh, verse 9 says, Much more than now being now justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. So being saved, that just sounds like a winner right there. Uh, anybody know that if you, if you do something worthy enough, here you go, right to jail. But just think, somebody bail you out. That's like being saved. And look, we committed to death because the wages of sin is death. So just think, you're on death row. Oh, man, I'm on death row. And here comes Jesus Christ. Hey, I am the truth and the life. Well, hold on, Lord, save me. <laughs> Hallelujah. Like he did the thief on the cross. Well, today you shall be with me in paradise. Acknowledge, humble ourselves to the Lord. Verse 10 says, for if when we were enemies, we were re reconciled to God, by the death of his son, much more being reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. Woo! So thank you, Lord, for the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Uh, the last verse is 11. And not only so, but we also joy in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom we have received atonement. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for atonement. So it, uh, for anybody that have a, 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 a criminal record, the, that word expunged just sounds so good because it's like, okay, hey, this thing is on your record. But when it's expunged, uh, it's no longer on your record. So now you can get your normal job. Now you can have your family. Uh, you know, depending upon what you've done, uh, some things are announced in the neighborhood, wherever you go. Uh, you know, so a word expunged. Anybody who ever filed bankruptcy before, it's like, man, that's on your record seven years. So, uh, you know, initially you're going to try to get some credit. It's like, man... Uh, your credit look good right now, but but you have a bankruptcy on you five years ago. So within that seven years, oh, shoot, they usually turn you down and give you an interest rate 30%. But hey, just think, expunge, woo, it's no longer that. Speeding ticket, oh, it's on your record for so, state, state, 
five years. Regular, three years. But hey, expunged, whew, no longer that. So now you can, your insurance rates can drop back down where they need to be. <laughs> Have mercy to the Lord. Thank you for expunging. Thank you for the atonement, forgiveness of sins. That All this stuff was on our record. But he came and cleaned that record of all. Oh, let me tear that up and we're going to have a new record now. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. A new life in Christ. With a renewing of our mind. The thought to remember is we have peace with God because Christ paid sin's price for us. So, man, huh, I, you know, I, I, I make a little joke about this because I, I think about bringing my mother, my niece, my, my wife to the mall and, uh, you know, just, just looking at you know, shopping for different things. And it's like, what's the price of that? And then all of a sudden, you know, the Lord come up to that. I got that like, oh, hallelujah. <laughs> so just think, regardless of what we've done, there's a price that needs to be paid, and he paid the price. So thank you, Lord, for paying that price. So what's the main point of Romans 5? It begins with a powerful, joyful revelation of all that comes with being justified in God's eyes by our faith in Christ. We have peace with God. We stand in God's grace. We have hope for eternal glory and meaning in our current suffering, whatever that may be. So you guys know your work payoff, so tribulation payoff, but hey, there's a paycheck at the end of that. Just remember, hey, we, it's, it's, it's not a hope that's in vain because by faith we walk this walk through Christ our Lord. And thank you, Lord, for, for, for dying for our sins, for being an atonement, for being an expungement. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for all that you do for us, knowingly and unknowingly, because we don't know all that he does because we take so many things for granted. But thank you, Lord, for a good life in you. In Jesus' name, amen. We'll have our final prayer. Let us pray. God of our Lord Jesus Christ and of all who follow you, we thank you for not allowing us to be shamed by our failures or even our sins have welcomed us into your household as honored members and for that we are grateful in jesus name we pray amen 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 Te damos gracias por no permitir que seamos avergonzados por nuestros fracasos o incluso nuestros pecados. Nos has recibido en tu casa como miembros honorables y por eso te estamos agradecidos. En el nombre de Jesús oramos. Amén. Amen. 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 All right. Thank you all for, for joining us for this lesson. Uh, we, we stand in a, uh, examining our faith title. Next lesson is Who Has Believed? It's going to come from Romans chapter 10, verses 1 through 17. So we stand in the book of Romans. Faith, 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 faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And we thank you, Lord, for, for faith and, and for the atonement in Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Next lesson is that we thank uh, our pastor at Cross the Third here at Good Hope in Gretna. Uh, if any of you guys passing through, please stop by 2028 Y Street. Just come on in. Mm -hmm. uh, service at 11 a.m. on Sundays. Uh, we just thank Lord for all our outreach ministries for our ladies because all our ladies have been reading these scriptures. And we mm -hmm. thank you for each and every one of you mm -hmm. uh, brave ladies for reading. Thank you, Lord, for each and everybody. And hope to see our next lesson. Don't hesitate to subscribe for those who haven't. So you can get a weekly weekly word from the Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. amen.